My name is Christian von Königsegg. I'm 40 years old and for half of my life I've been on the quest to be a leader in the hypercar industry, utilizing Swedish design combined with visionary technical solutions. Our latest car, the Agera R, is built in the old hangars of a former Swedish fighter jet squadron. Their symbol, a ghost, is now proudly painted on the back of every Königsegg. So I'm here with Matthias, who is responsible for our hardware and software development when it comes to control systems in the car. Uh, what's quite unique about Koenigsegg is that we develop the car in all aspects. What you see when you get close to the car is the macro perspective, kind of get, uh, get confronted with the paintwork that we do ourselves, which is very important. But we see the car as a whole. There is no difference between the outside of the car or the deepest inside, the small microelectronic controllers that we also design in-house. If this isn't done right, you don't get the right feeling when you drive the car, the right engine characteristic, the right gearbox and transmission feeling, or stability control system, or electronic uh, differential that we explained as well. Uh, it's all controlled by, by software and hardware electronics. So uh, we use a special uh, CAD software to engineer and design the circuit board and uh, all the components are chosen for, for our needs and we try to use always the latest technology so it's uh, as future safe as possible and stays modern for a long period of time. So even if you look at the bottom here at the circuit board it says uh, Koenigsegg, this is a transmission control unit, the engine control unit looks very similar. Uh, we even machine, CNC machine a billet box to, to fit the circuit boards into so they're well protected and, uh, and catered for. We have chosen the latest Freescale microcontroller, which is purposely made for automotive. And one of the most important things for us is to keep it all together, to be able to do all these different issues. We are using the same, the, exactly the same microcontroller in all these use. Even if they look very different, they are more or less the same platforms in a software point of view. So it's only the application software and the application specific hardware points that are different. We have CAN bus also all between these CUs. And one of the benefits of that is that when, in our position, when we have the possibility to, to write the software in all these CUs, is that we can put functionality wherever we want. Even if a, a sensor is in one CU, we could put the functionality using the sensor in another one, and vice versa. We can design the interface ourselves. So even if for example, we need a new function for the... We need the engine management for, to control a valve somewhere in the car. We could very easily attach that wire to another ECU closer in the car than we are controlled via CAN bus. Yeah. It's sometimes, of course, difficult, but it's, that's not an... That's not the most difficult that's part. Not, that's the fun part, that's not the hard part. The hard part is to be able to find time to do everything you want. This is the top layer, and this is the, the bottom layer. And then there are layers inside. Some of them are just pure ground layers, and some of them are pure voltage layers. This is the schematics, which is the, the software where you tell the system which pin on which IC should be connected to each other. And then you transfer this information to the layout program. I do it myself. There is uh, uh, something called outer routing in the system, but I never use that because it doesn't make any very beautiful. It's not. It's too complicated. It doesn't work, in my opinion. <laughs> it's a simple card uh, for simple circuit board. Yes, but outer routing is rarely used. In in a way, it's it's a design because uh, the way you put the the copper reflects the dis what it looks like. 
you have to consider uh, uh, electromagnetic fields. Mm -hmm. So there can be conflicts if it's not done correctly. And this outer routing does rarely consider those aspects. Mm -hmm. It's more experience that can uh, avoid potential uh, electromagnetic field issues. If, if you have a, a one copper uh, uh, routing which has a lot of uh, energy in it, uh, you want to have that in a layer far away from something very sensitive. In a bigger company you would have hardware people there, software people there, engine builders over there, and they would get together and meet sometimes to talk about strategy. But here we have the same people doing all of these aspects together in a very small group. So w when we're designing the circuit board, we're considering what the software should be like in a more direct way than that someone else is thinking about that. And, and uh, as, as our software engineers are also part of our engine development team and chassis development team, they consider aspect, maybe I should have this function for this when I'm driving the car with this chassis set up, I should maybe put this in. They're kind of thinking more as a whole, which is completely unique. If I'm guessing, I would say maybe we're spending 15-20% of our development time and budget on stuff like this, something like that. But, but it's all integrated in the other items as well. It's definitely the brain, but it's part of the soul. I mean, it is the brain, but it gives part of the soul and the experience. Because th this is really the, the controlling function of, of, of the mechanics. Every single line of code inside these hues have been written by us, and also this software that we're using in the PC is also entirely written by us. It's a never-ending story of evolution. It, 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 it's, it is exactly what Matthias said, what is your biggest challenge? It's, it's time. Because if you had all the time in the world from the get-go, you would never have to update software. <laughs> because you always come up with new ideas, there are new systems in the car, customers ask for new features, and, and uh, there is just all, it's an endless possibility to come up with new ideas and improve, basically. And, and for sure we do that on service for the cars and, uh, and also upgrade older cars with newer hardware systems so we can put new software into them, if the customers want it. I mean, they're, they're fine as they are, but, but you can get new features, new experiences if you do. Thank you.